<laughs> dolphins are mammals. Ben was wrong. Ben thought dolphins was a fish. What? You know, I know that. I'm stupid. Eh. So, uh, we're back in Mario Odyssey. Sup? Collecting more moons. Currently being a cheap cheap. Cheap? Wait, do I just, like... Cheap? Oh, I just... I just slid to it. Okay. Every single day, stress comes in every way. I ain't got no time for nobody. Wait, I forget. Is she, is she called Cheap Cheap? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because he goes, I need a cake. Cheap. Cheap. Uh, check out our Parappa of the Rapper. Uh, speed run? Or, not speed... <laughs> not a speed run. LP. Uh, uh, yeah. It is a speed run. We just, uh mess up a lot on like stage five or something yep it was stage five literally everybody loses on stage five yeah well i don't know if they do in the speed run i remember we had to do that Except twice because the first time we did it was on hgtv and spencer could literally not do it yeah it's so precise have i still not done jammer lammy i feel like i haven't i don't think you did nice I'll save that in my back pocket for some day that we don't have something going on. It's too bad that Proper Rapper 2 is just... It's not bad, but it's just not really that good. Yeah. You know the worst part of it? Yeah. Daily Reminder. Daily Reminder. That the guy who voiced it, who voiced Proper the Rapper is the worst. He's literally a subhuman. And it's a shame because, like, he, like... If he was cool at all, he could, like... I'm not saying have, like... An amazing life but he could have like enough money as a side job just going to like cons and being like hey i'm parappa rapper and people would be like oh cool and he would like always have pe like like too many games and the and like uh retro con and whatever would always have him right but the dude is the worst he's like just the worst and it's like that's such a shame why why is he the worst dude <sighs> Do I gotta find the story and share it with and what's, share it with what's Ben? What's his name? What's his name? Uh, I'm sure if you search him that that it's a pretty like infamous story okay. in the retro gaming thing. But anyway, the, the long story short is that basically there's this fan who wanted found him on Facebook and was like, "Hey, can you do Prepper's voice for my project for me or whatever?" And he was like, "Yeah, sure, just but I'm not doing it for free. Give me money." And then they sent him money, and then he didn't do it. But it was like, you know when someone just sucks and you're like, hey, can you do this thing for me? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And you're like, you're never doing it, are you? But, like, he would always be like, there's obviously much more to it, but he would, it, it would be more and more, you'd be like, give me more money because I need to do this. And the guy would be like, uh, okay, well, yeah, I'd really like this project done, so okay. And he'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but I need a little extra money because I'm, uh, I'm also doing this, like, effects on it and whatever. And he'd be like... Oh, okay, can you just like record these ten lines? Like that's literally all I want you to do. And the guy would be like, yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. And then it would get to the point where like you know when the when the project guy would be like, please do this for me. The guy would like the proper rapper guy would like on Twitter or whatever like just like call him out, and be like, oh, uh, uh, uh. and he's just the worst. You got to read the whole story. It's it's that's the basic thing but it's like way crazier uh and it's the rapper told what? me to drop dead there you go that's gotta be it nice moon oh he literally just said drop dead that's yeah cool. and it's like i understand even being like i want some money for this but it's like it wasn't a huge thing it wasn't like fly out to hollywood and blah or fly to los los angeles and blah blah, blah. it's like Dude, literally, it was like, can you just record, like, ten lines for this, like, thing I'm doing? And it's like, yeah, but for money. It's like, uh, <laughs> not do it. I'd be like, I can find somebody else who would not be a jerk. But yeah, for anyone out there, read it up. Uh, search Parappo the Rapper told me to drop dead and you will find it. It's a, it's a, it's a really interesting story. But yeah, now every time I play that game, I'm like... That sucks. <laughs> like, I can't ever not think of it. So I got the minimum amount of moons that I need here. But I'm gonna try to do maybe a couple more. This is probably one of the most boring worlds, so... So when you get the minimum amount of moons, what does that mean? You can just go to the next I game? I go to the next world. Okay. In fact, to beat the game, you only need 120 moons. 
Because basically it drops you down to a thing and then there's like a minimum quota. Uh, no, it doesn't matter if you get like a lot of moons in the in level before it. Uh, it. It doesn't matter. It just it makes you do the minimum amount of moons for a new world anyway. Um, so yeah, if you just do the minimum each time it's 120. And there's like a thousand overall, right? Some crazy. Uh, I think it's 850. I think last time I said 900, but that's wrong. That's actually a pretty low percentage to just beat the game. Like, yeah, that's like they give you a lot of incentives to try to um, do more because you unlock a level at 250 moons and then another level at 500. But then after that, like. There's, in Breath of the Wild, there's something that's sort of similar, where you can collect these little collectibles in, throughout the world, that increase your inventory total, and there's 900 of them. But to, uh, maximize your inventory of, like, all the different kinds, you only need, like, I think half of them. I don't even think it's, like, 500. I think it's, like, 450. So there's, like, absolutely just no reason to do it. But if you get all 900, if you're that that much of a madman like give you like this little stupid prize that is literally it looks like a piece of uh, crap <laughs> and surely a ton of people have gotten it i mean i imagine so but uh i did not even remotely try i think i got like 150 and i'm like that's fine <laughs> good lord so that those uh those um Great. purple oh dang those purple coins, the 16 out of 50, when you leave, do you still have 16? Or yes. do you have to collect all? Okay. Yeah, the purple coins, uh, they are just the specific world's currency. Uh, you get that um, to unlock the specific world's uh, like shop things, which is usually like a couple costumes, one or two costumes, and then a couple decals and like little things that you can decorate your uh, thing with, your ship. But they're almost entirely optional, and the only reason why you get the costumes is that you, there's usually like a moon or two that you can unlock with them. That makes sense. At least it gives you a fun reason to, you know, continue collecting that stuff. I like. That's the tough part about collectathon games is you gotta like yeah, either right. make it super fun to collect all this stuff or like give a reason for collecting all of it. Like, Banjo-Kazooie really, like... Yeah, the Jiggies get you, like... They, they unlock other levels and whatever, but, like, the notes really don't have to go crazy on them. Until the very end. Yeah, I mean, Banjo-Kazooie, you have to get almost all the Jiggies. I think you can only, like, miss, like, what? Like, 10 or 20 of them? Yeah. To, like, the final boss, but... The notes, yeah, you just unlock like the. I think you can get like two two thirds of them, something like that. Maybe maybe like three fourths. Hard boss. I like that guy. He's like, guess what? I'm gonna throw. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. He's like, hey, I'm gonna throw my hat at you. Where'd you go? Yeah, literally just stops in his tracks. Huh? Uh huh? Ben, I bet you five million dollars that the next hit of this boss is gonna is gonna beat him. Five million dollars. I can see the future. Do you have that money? Can uh, I'm good. Like I'm good for it, bro. Well, I can't make a determination uh, either way. Oh, that sounds like that sounds like an official bet. Pony up. I. I will accept a uh, hundred payments of. You know this is reported, right? Fifty thousand. Yeah. So there's a lot of. Uh, there's 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 many adoring right, fans we'll, that now know. All right. I'll, <coughs> I'll have my lawyer contact your lawyer. Cool. Sounds good. Maybe that's how we should talk from now on. Yeah. <laughs> hey Ben, you coming to LPs? Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Brosman uh, responded back. Friday? Question mark. <laughs> Actually, he responded back to inform you that Friday does not work. For him. <laughs> suggest the alternative of Saturday, or barring that, potentially Sunday evening. Uh. <laughs> we're gonna have to. We're, we're gonna have to work out the paperwork here. 
Sounds like a great world where you're just, you're just like, yeah, everything's much more difficult, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh. Gib. Actually, it'd be better if you were like, Ben's lawyer, is Friday okay? And then Ben responds like usual with not an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rossman said, uh, you know, uh, I saw this guy that looks like Larry David going through the trash earlier. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh that was, I'm sorry, that was that was actually one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. I mean... No, it was just a it was just a guy who was uh, walking down the street. I was just driving to work and I saw this guy and I was like, that guy looks like Larry David. And then I saw it like go oh, right. out of his okay. way just slightly to peek inside of a trash can, <laughs> like on the side of the road. Like, peek inside or rummage inside? He didn't rummage at all. He just, like, he did a noticeable detour from his current what trajectory. Was, what if it to was Larry look. David? Because Larry Derry, if he saw something interesting in there, he would look at the trash. No, that's that's what I'm he saying. Would, it was he wouldn't Larry reach David in, thing I don't to think do. so, but he would look in the trash. Huh. He wouldn't rummage, but he would, he was, well, he would rummage if he saw something no, interesting. No, I, I think he would grab something on the top, but I don't think he would rummage. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. No, it, it has to be on the top. I agree. And then Jeff would say, what are we doing going through the trash? Yeah, Ben, you should have look, took a picture of him and then sent it to Larry David's Twitter or something. And then it this would have been you. an epic <laughs> episode because of that. Hey, I'm going to come up with this. Oh, you know, I wasn't going to do a season 10, but now I am because of this Fort Brosman in Lancaster, PA. <laughs> Thank you, Bort. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, so... Have your lawyer, uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Brossman responds back, cool. <laughs> so this world is pretty cool. Uh, my client, uh, Trevor Brossman responds back, hey. <laughs> he told me to tell you. <laughs> Specifically <laughs> in the scene kid voice. Uh. Oh god. Are you like on the stand? Uh is this true that uh Mr. Rossman that you responded back? Hey? Uh no, uh no your honor, it was Hey. <laughs> I specifically heard it. Hey. <laughs> uh what is that? I was gonna say if that was a moon that would be it amazing. Could be. There's definitely one uh some points. What is this Shadow of the Colossus Mario? Yeah, this world is pretty weird. This is one of the levels that I was talking about. Not having the uh, a very good art style compared to some other levels, like that water level you're just in. Like, when they're using, like, realistic kind of texturing and stuff like this, I don't think it looks too good. This place is just, like, stupid forest land. You're stupid forest land. Alright. I am not stupid far as land. Literally shake the pro controller to go faster. Oh, uh, you can push Y to do that instead. Heh. What does he want from here? He wants flowers. Why does the Sphinx always have to a ask questions? Get out of here. Because he's cool. Alright. I don't know how that really works that he's able to... What was that? How did that start? Was that like... Cause that's that's a, that's a thing, right? Like every time you see like a sphinx in something, like it's gonna ask you a bunch of like it's gonna yeah, ask you a riddle. Yeah, they're always asking riddles. So how did that riddle of the sphinx start? Like, is it a sphinx? I thought it was like some other like Egyptian. No, it's no, because remember in Wonder Boy and Monster World, uh, yeah, there's a sphinx. Literally, the sphinx asks you a bunch of questions, and that's a thing. Like that's that's a thing that if you see a sphinx, you're like, oh, I gotta I gotta answer these questions. What's that Egyptian thing that has the uh, the balance? It looks like a. Like a jackal? Uh, I thought it was like a god of like life or death or something. You mean like uh, Anubis? Or yeah, that or thing. Horus yeah, 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 yeah. Or oh, Anubis. guys. I'm pretty sure they're jackals. Yeah, he's got like the head of a jackal and he's like a... I don't know, like a badass or something. I agree. Uh... Basically, you get, like, a god of, of life and death, and they're usually pretty badass. Whoa. So these onions can do this. Me. There's a lot of cool platforming because of it. Onionlets. When will they learn? 
Uh, can I tell you something about this soundtrack? Yeah, I think I mentioned it last time, but sometimes this uh, game just uh, is like, uh, I don't really feel like doing music. Just uh, just like birds. Ambient and stuff. sounds. It is odd, especially since Mario is so like synonymous with like such a, like a a child like whimsical soundtrack like all the time. Kind of interesting. And there's Can there's you go music. Them? Yes. Yes. Oh, can I like do nothing with him? Get out. I think when you get in here, like music actually starts. There we go. Interesting. So it just starts when you go through here, huh? Yeah, I entered this place from the side entrance, so this looks a little odd considering. But... I like these onions. Whoa, that thing's friggin' blonde hair. <laughs> the lore. Deepest lore! Hey! Climb the cliff to get the to get the nut. Okay. Cool. Ben! <laughs> I'm always trying to get the nut. Whoa. Okay, Mr. David. Uh, this music. Can I just say? I have no idea if this soundtrack is actually made by Koji Kondo. Uh, Koji TBA. Kondo is dead, so... Really? Wait, is he? No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You're about to make wow. me sad. What the hell? <laughs> Thank you. That was... That was a cool joke. That was not really... <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm pretty funny. Uh, Nobuo Uematsu has died. Uh... What? Uh... Now, I know that he is pretty hands-off with Final Fantasy soundtracks nowadays. He, um... After he made Otherworld the song, what else did he have to do? Yeah, that's, that's true. He that's, really, that's really the end-all, be-all Don't music. you give up on it. Okay. Alright. Oh, my God. Oh, Man, water. I'm gonna have to get that. I've got Dude, that on vinyl. You know what? I'll think of it another <laughs> spin. Do you know what game has amazing water graphics? I don't know if you guys ever heard it because it's mostly well, I like. I don't know. I need to sh uh, run it by the guy on Weverse. I I need to tell you something, Ben. I'm that guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I knew it. But anyway, it's a kids game, so obviously you guys have never played it. But it's called Roblox. All right. So you're you're just assuming that I haven't played it. Have you it. played Roblox? No. But it's like it's like I'm Legos, but like it's like a user made thing. So like every oh, game's wow. different, and a lot of them are really, really, really bad. But some are good. But anyway, uh, every time they have water in like some of those ones, it's like amazing water graphics. Even though like the rest of the graphics are Is like that, that dumb tablet game that Ferris plays. Yep. But but seriously, the water graphics are like amazing. Like it's hard to imagine. In fact, I specifically saw it the other day. He was like, "Can you help me with this?" And I was like, "Wow, look at those water graphics." <laughs> And then I couldn't because the game is hard. hard. It's too hard. Well, I mean, it's it's like literally kids making games for other kids. So sometimes you're like, I don't understand this. Do you mean to say that kids have no concept of balance? Uh. What is? Oh, I probably need to bring. Let me say this. Uh. Starcraft, it's not in terms of balance. It's Starcraft's balance. Well, some would argue with it there. Okay. Madden 18, it's not. Some would argue with it. Yeah, Madden 18 is probably the best Madden ever, so... Are, are, you, are you being, like, serious? No, it, it is. Okay. It's... Oh, that's so lame. That was kind of cool how fast it went, though. That yeah, really it, cool. it, like, does, like, automatic hits for some reason. So when you see these little straw dummies, they uh, make you do just a little challenge without the hat. Oh, oh that's cool. Oh, it's just... Oh, okay. Literally rip. I was looking around just to see if it was anything other than just fight that Oh guy. my god. 575? I'm in peril. I don't even know if, if you'll survive now. 
And if you lose again, it's gonna be 567. Ugh, oh, having to jump on this guy, wow, that's a mood. <laughs> that was cool. There's some moons. I've already done like one or two moons in uh, the last level, and that one I've never done because I just never found it. So, just some stuff I'm just. Ex Can you come back to me? Uh. Hey. So I have. Hey. I have some big news in terms of, uh. <clears throat> like local news in terms of Ephrata slash Lancaster news. Yeah. Uh. You guys are sitting down, but you might want to, like, put your arms to the side so you don't, like, faint and fall back. Oh, I'm pretty comfortable where I am. All right. Uh, because the thing I'm about to tell you is that uh, Nathaniel Kin Kins Kinsley, Kinsley has gotten his driver's license. No, that'll never happen. Has finished his and is producing oh. his album. It's done, boys. He's got the cassette for it pressed and everything. Wait, wait, is this, which band, is he, is this No, it's solo? just, it's literally just him who recorded everything, and, like, he's been working on it for a million years. It's, like, one of those passion projects where he's, like, uh, everything has to be perfect, but no matter what he does, he's, like, this sucks. Uh, and it's that's, done. That's artist. And it's dude. called, what's it called? Winner's Mistress. Excuse me. It's, uh, his album is called Making the Most Out of Nothing. Words to live by. Jesus. Words to live by. But and, he uh, chose that for his although I can't, uh, show it, uh, because we don't have a face cam, that's what the cassette looks like. It's him in a, is that an Aerosmith shirt? No. It looks like an Aerosmith shirt. Looks like he's dabbing, almost? No. He has no. he has his arm up is... like he's like he's dabbing in front of like in front of like a, in front of like an old man in front of like a dumpster and an old man and it's just him and he's just like Nathaniel making the most out of nothing and you know what I'm gonna buy the cassette and I'm gonna buy the CD how how old is Nathaniel again he's like early thirties early thirties. I thought he was older, honestly. I thought, yeah. Honestly, I thought it would be, like, mid-30s. Maybe mid-30s, but, like, probably more like 33, 34, something like that. Uh. And, uh, and yeah. It's, it's, I mean, come on. Uh, you're gonna have to support him. And, uh, you know what? Although that one, uh, guitarist said that he was going solo... Uh, in reality, it was uh, Nathaniel who went solo and went big. So, oh, I so that's I... it. It's done. He uh, recorded everything well, himself. Actually, um, Jimmy also did go solo, and I have his album. Yeah, but his album is not making something out of nothing. Oh, it's much. Oh, M S O O N. It's so good though. Have I, have so I, good. Oh yeah, I shared. I shared. Uh, I uploaded Dude. one of the songs. To you. Yeah, because you already. I cannot M find this. M soon, baby. Oh yeah, that's right. We listened to it or whatever, and it was great. Yeah, because you were like, I cannot find this album on the internet anymore. I was like, well, you got to upload it now. Yeah, and now I have to. I have to upload the rest of it. <laughs> um, because it's just too perfect. Uh, it's really good. So, uh. Just everybody in that in that famous... I mean, it's super famous. It has like a million views on YouTube. Uh, from that famous video, they're all going solo. Uh, I guess except for Kevin. Kevin's not going solo. Did Kevin go solo? Uh, Kevin is... I don't know what he's doing, dude. <laughs> he's probably being cool. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'll tell you what he's doing. I, I know he was Flip working... Sarah. I know he was working at the gas station. Nice. That's me. And then he worked at Verizon with Jimmy. Uh, going so Jimmy works Jimmy. at Verizon. Jimmy gets good phones. Jimmy knows a good phone when he sees it. Do you get it? Ben, do you get it? Yeah, I get the reference. Uh, everybody named Jimmy of all time. Anyway. But, yeah, and then uh, Kevin... Went, Kevin's getting upset! Went, went back to the... Uh, 
went back to the gas station, presumably because, I guess, he didn't sell enough phones at Verizon or something. So nice. that's cool. Nice. And that's, like, a really good and, you know, just funny thing. Do not even begin to make some sort of, like, like star slash pentagram. It, was that the Star of David that it was starting to make? What is going on? Triple parentheses. What are these guys called? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, what are these guys called again? Brutals? Oh yeah, Brutals. Brutals, brutals. brutals in parentheses. Triple parentheses, Brutals. I, I just don't know what it's, what it's like. Huh. Well, this guy's like... But... Ma Ugh. And he's dead forever. Well, I'm glad that Mario, like, they finally made, like, some sort of, like, mini antagonist that isn't just the Koopas again. Um, the Brutals are really lame, and they don't do anything interesting. Uh, can they please just bring back the, uh... Just bring back the Koopa kids. They're, Actually, I would be... What, they're when's, fine. When's the last time they had the Koopa kids? Like, New Super Mario Brothers? They They've had the Koopa Kids in, like, every Mario game ever since the Wii. Okay, well, I haven't played a Mario game since the Wii, Bring so. back Smithy from Super Mario RPG. Yeah, I think they might have some problems with that. Who's the bad guy in all the Paper Mario games? Bowser? Like, is it literally? No. In, uh, uh, who's it in Thousand Year Door? I know in normal Paper Mario it's Bowser. Yeah, Th Th Thousand Year Door, it's, like, the Shadow... I, I haven't played Shadow, uh, or, um... Thousand Year Door in so long, so I don't remember exactly. But the final boss is Peach being possessed. Ah, whoa! Spoilers. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Didn't you literally it. can't spoil something that's over fifteen years old. It's not over fifteen. Is it over fifteen? Yeah, it's no, like two thousand two, bro. No, it can't be. I think it might be two thousand three, so it's just barely not. Like. If you start out a conversation with, hey, 2004, Ro <laughs> hey, Rosebud is the, like, sled. Like, it doesn't matter, man. Net freaking time. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because that's not a video game, and video games are the only stories or plots that I, that I care about. You know what? I'll agree with you. Video games are the only form of art anymore. Wow. Let's... Adjust monocle. Let's talk to Roger Ebert about that. <laughs> oh, wait... Uh, he has actually passed. L literally, literally would not even consider anything if it was a video game as a, having a story. Pretty great. I like no, it. No, I, that, that was not his argument. I've played a lot of Sony-made games, so I know